Front and center off to the side, you'll see the power supply in action right there. Down below, you'll see we have plenty of room. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Cooler Master GX3 850 Gold Power Supply. Cooler Master did send me the sample, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. We got some key information for you on the back. Then we'll look at it from the side. You'll see on the top side here, we have our technical spec and information for you. 100% Japanese capacitors. This is 80 plus gold certified, 10 year warranty. We also have our ATX 3.0 connection, PCIe 5.0 with our 90 degree. It's our 12 VH PWR cable with the nice 90 degree adapter. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature with our user guide and manual, followed by our GPU cable configuration here, depending on which cable and route you wanna go. Make sure you follow all of those steps. Next, we have our included screws. We have five of them in this little kit. Next, you'll see a wide variety and assortment of power cables here, again, fully modular. The one you're probably most interested is gonna be right here. Take a look. Clearly labeled for us, there's the 90 degree connector and it's 450 watts supported through this cable if you wanna use it for your GPU. And then last but not least, we have the power supply itself. Let's look at this in more detail. Front and center, you'll notice Cooler Master's logo and branding here. We'll flip it around to the other side. Cooler Master's logo and branding continued. I like the gray and purple color scheme there. You'll see our included fan. Now we'll flip it around to the side, additional branding there. Flip it around to the other side, we have our tech specs. Here's a look at the back side. We do have a note here, fan will not spin until a specific core temperature is reached. So keep that in mind and just peel that off before use. Toggle on and off switch. Even got some purple accents inside that we can see for the internal parts and components. Love the attention to detail there. And now we'll go to the other side. You'll see all of our hookup options, 12 VHPWR, all of our PCIe connectors, motherboard if you wanna add any hard drives or accessories. All of that can be accomplished right here on the back side fully modular. Now let's plug it in and try it out. All right, we got our power supply plugged in, powered on and connected to our Dr. Power 2, just so we can get a feel for the spec to make sure everything is where it should be. So first up, let's check out our main motherboard power cable right here. Blue is good, this is what we wanna see, five to five, 11.8 to 12, 3.3 to 3.3, 11.8 to 12, five to five, and a PG score of 153 milliseconds. You wanna see that anywhere between 100 and 500, so blue is good, that's great, everything's within spec. Next, PCI right here, so that's gonna be one of these cables up at the top, this guy. You'll see that connected, 11.8 to 12, that's great. Again, blue is good. CPU, same thing, 11.8 to 12, that's gonna be the other cable. And then we have our SATA power right here, five to five, 11.8 to 12, 3.3 to three. So blue is good. Everything is right where it needs to be. Now let's go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, so our computer's built, our power supply is installed. Let's go ahead and check it out up close. Front and center off to the side, you'll see the power supply in action right there. Take a look up at the top. Way back there, we have our extension cable plugged in and our toggle button turned to the on position. Down below, you'll see we have plenty of room to add some more of our included cables in the future with our fully modular design. On the front right here, GPU power through PCIe coming right to the front and connecting up at the top for our RTX 3060 from MSI. There's the main board power there. And moving up to the top, you'll see our CPU power, AMD 7600X underneath. Looking at the sides, you'll see down at the bottom, you'll typically find your power supply, but not the case here. GPU, motherboard, exhaust fan, and up in the left-hand corner, we have our power cord hookup. And on the back side, you'll see how some of those cables are routed. Up at the top, our CPU power, main board power coming up and through right there, and everything tucked in the rat's nest 
down below. We can even see the power supply peeking through right there. All right, now you're looking at live monitoring of our PC at idle speeds with the panels on. We're gonna stress out the power supply in a minute, but it's great to see that right now, everything is where it should be voltage wise. Take a look at all those blue charts. So all is well there, no issues at all whatsoever. Power supply is up and running and working great. You'll also see currently for our CPU, we're using about 17 watts for our power consumption and around eight watts for our GPU. Now let's stress this thing out and max it out the whole way. We're almost 15 minutes into our power supply stability test with our CPU and GPU being under that 100% load. So far, so good, no issues at all. Our voltages and everything in the blue graphs and charts are exactly where they need to be. No extremes, no fluctuations or anything like that. Very stable, whether it's at idle speeds or if it's being completely stressed out and utilized like it is in this particular case. If you're wondering about fan noise or anything like that with this power supply, we can listen in, but chances are if you're doing any sort of serious computing or gameplay, like we have it stressed out here, we're gonna hear the fans from our AIO or any of our exhaust fans or case fans before we'd hear anything from the power supply. So it's great that we don't have any coil whine. And if you are gonna hear the fan, chances are it's gonna be muffled out compared to all the other fans running in your case. And I wanna point out that although this test has been going on now for over 15 minutes, that internal fan is still not turned on from the power supply. So that's great to see that internally, it hasn't even gotten warm enough yet in our testing to even kick on that fan to even make it make any noise. Now, just for fun, we'll look at the power supply through our FLIR camera. Take a look at how warm the unit is under our max load, been running for 20 minutes, completely stressed out. 90 degrees. Here's where the fan is. So internally through the mesh there, a little bit warmer, some hot spots. 100 and almost 105 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, looking underneath, you'll see that 90 degree mark again. Check our cables here. So far, so good. Our GPU is nice and toasty, but we'll check our PCIe power right here to the 3060. Looks nice. And now on the back side where we plug in the power cord, take a look there. Not bad. And then the very back CPU power cables main board power cable. With our PC booted up and at idle, you'll see currently we're consuming about 55 watts, 0.961 kilowatt hours, 123 volts, 0.466 amps, and our low watt was 0.2 and our high watt was 575.5. With our PC being stressed out at full CPU and GPU utilization, you'll see that we're drawing 376 watts. 0.992 kilowatt hours, 121.8 volts, 3.119 amps, low watt still 0.2, high watt still 575.5. But under a full load here, being completely stressed out with our RTX 3060 and AMD 7600X, that's what you can expect under a full load. This is more than enough of a PSU for our particular build, but what's great is at 850 watts, we have plenty of headroom in the future if we wanna pop in a more power hungry GPU or CPU. At 10 years of warranty coverage, there's a good chance this might survive multiple builds for you. And thankfully we have our 12 VHPWR cable for some future proofing there, depending on the GPU and style that you'll use in the future. So plenty capable, works great, near silent, if not silent operation, depending on what you're trying to accomplish easy installation. I've been using Cooler Master power supplies now for a couple of years and I've had zero issues, but it's great we have that peace of mind with that 10 year warranty.